Hello, it's me, Norm, again from MyBeerQuest.com, and we're on another beer expedition here, and uh, we're going to explore some uh, California beer this time. Uh, California beers uh, are some of my favorites. I'm a little biased because I grew up in California, and I live here now, so uh, <laughs> I, got, I got a lot of uh, California beers to choose from, because uh, luckily California is rich with breweries. This one comes from uh, way up north, Northern California. It is from uh, the Anderson Valley Brewing Company. And uh, that's avbc.com if you want to find out more from them. I'm surprised I haven't actually talked about the Anderson Valley Brewing Company on uh, the beer blog before. Well, I've, I've talked about them um, before I've I've done their beers before I started posting videos, but I've never done actually a video I don't think. So uh, this is their ESB, the Boont ESB. If you don't, you're not familiar with the ESB style. I think uh, one of the most commons is the Fuller's ESB. That's from uh, um, England, and uh, and I um, I think that's the one most people know. Uh, ESB stands for Extra Special Bitters. Um, well, I, I actually, I think that's um, copyrighted by Fuller. So they call this one Extra Special Beer, if you see right there. And I just need it called uh, a number of different things. Extra Special Beer. But usually an ESB is kind of... Uh, I find them to be uh, kind of a middle of the road beer, something uh, you know, amber ish uh, that everybody kind of likes, uh, not not too hoppy, uh, and not boring as well. So um, can't wait to try this one. I don't think I've had their ESB. The last ESB I had was from Ale Smith, and it was a wonderful uh, style. And this says Solar Power Brewery. I've never been up there. Uh, this uh, Anderson Valley is. Um, way up north, above Napa Valley. Um, yeah, I believe the brewery's in Boonville, uh, California. So, um, yeah, I got my uh, Newcastle opener. And I also got, I, they did actually send me a Newcastle glass. I don't know if you saw the previous Newcastle one. Uh, but I, I did actually get the uh, Newcastle glass, and the cool thing is it has a little star on the bottom, the Newcastle star, um, kind of etched in there, and I've seen those before in other glasses, and it kind of makes them bubble a certain way. We'll see if that works on with this beer as well. Let's call it schooner glass. ESB could probably be enjoyed in either a pint glass, a schooner glass, or a mug because it's just one of those types of beers. Extra special beer that way. <laughs> it doesn't matter really what uh, what type of glass you enjoy. It. Um, at least I don't think. Yeah, it does look like it's bubbling. Can't really st see that star pattern, but uh, I'll take its word for it. I don't want to turn it sideways. But look how nice that beer looks, especially in this glass. <clears throat> I think this is going to become one of my new favorite glasses. <laughs> so... Mm, smells really good. Mm, very good. Very nice. Um, this is just like one of those really easy going beers. Probably be in, enjoyed with anything. And I, I, like I said before, I'm surprised I haven't talked about Anderson Valley before. Um, I'm not sure how widely distributed they are, um, but they are a really good beer if you can get them in your area. They're worth trying. Uh, pretty much all of their beers are, uh, are really good. I, I really enjoy this one You get because you do get some taste of the hops in there, and uh, you know they're the West Coast kind of hops. <laughs> so um, really enjoyable. I'm looking for the alcohol per volume. Most of the time ESBs are really low. Alcohol this is six point eight, so it's not actually that low. Uh, six point eight alcohol per volume. 
And one thing you do have to be careful is, is not to have too many because it's very easy to have too many of these. You know, all things in moderation. Um, but I think that's probably coming out a little bit darker on the camera than it actually is. It's a, you know, it's kind of a tan color. But uh, fairly clear. It's a, it's a fairly, really nice beer. So, uh, so thanks for stopping by. And uh, until next time, cheers. Enjoy your beer.